Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to take you on a quick trip through Add to Event and how to be successful on this platform. Now, Add to Event is a directory where you can bid, sort of, on people's gigs they list their events, whatever it may be, you purchase credits, you spend those credits on sending quotes, and hope that they contact you. Now I'll go over some of the other bits, but it's interesting because you, you have to send a quote to get their information. So this is very much a, a pay-to-play platform. Once in a while, you will get people that will reach out directly to you if they see your profile. So. As always, it is super important to have that 100% fully optimized and amazing. So let's go over it really quick. Once you get to add to event, you'll sign up as a provider, make a profile, make it nice, and let go to here, right? Profile. You're going to have your public information. which is subtitle, who you are and what you do, your typical clients, and your primary category. You can only pick one primary category, so be sure to click the best one. And then you can go from there. So we want change it up for a minute here and we have a lot of these services but we might want to stay corporate event catering but we don't want to miss out on some other ones so you really gotta narrow it down because you could be a juice bar but maybe your services are more smoothies or lunch catering and you want to attract more high value lunch catering so you're gonna want to stand out as that so we are gonna go we're gonna go to location catering because we go to you do that for now and add to it we're going to do Afternoon canapé catering cocktail and bartending. We'll add that and click save changes. You're also gonna want to update and upload your logo. Add how far you're willing to travel how to get in touch with you, photos, and any videos. So do it all. You can also get reviews on here, which is super powerful. But once you're all set, you can set your preferences, right? We'll go here. Put this, we're gonna add this. Make sure it's saved. There we go. So that's everything we potentially want to do. And then we'll go to requests. And you can start checking it out. So, a lot of weddings. This would be a pretty good one. So we're going to open it here. You see we have credits. You can pre-make templates or do your own. So this might actually be a staffing template. Yeah. 45 guests, six hours to staff. So we're gonna do this one. Your staffing template. Sometimes it'll pick up 
the burrow easily, you know. Uh, all right. Well, it's next Saturday. Uh, we would want to spend two staff for this event. Would love to get in touch to get you a more accurate quote in case anything else is needed beyond just staff. I'd click include cost, put that in, and send off. And that's that. Other tips to be successful on this platform is you want to be sure you can actually do the event you're, you're, you're submitting to. That seems like a common sense thing, but if you can't do Mediterranean and Asian cuisine, don't do this. Um, if you can't, there's a lot of weddings going on. If you don't have people willing to do a 12 hour shift, don't do that one. So be mindful of that. You also want to be sure, I'm double checking what's what here. Okay, those the preferences. Once you add in your preferences, you want to be sure every single thing has a photo and a description. So let's go to, and go to wait staff. Short description, you only get 220 characters, so make the most of it. Photo of your staff and save. And then you do all the events this is for. You, do, you can do them all. And then get that going. So definitely don't send out pitches until everything's pretty and optimized. Another tip on being successful with add to event, get reviews. You need to be on the platform and have booked in with them. So be sure they've booked in, that you showed up to the event, and then respond to your reviews. So you can see birthday party, birthday party, anniversary party, and this was, I want to say this might have been a church event for us. We did a coffee drop. And then, you know, anything else with this platform really is just be sure to use it. Be sure you have your information that stays up to date. That all your services are listed, you have good photos, it's attractive. Take the time to build really good templates. It's this one. Introduce who you are, what you've done, um, mention the event, and outline what you're going to quote. You will get email notifications, but always go check your inbox. Once you send a request, it moves to quotes, and if they accept you, it moves into bookings. So keep an eye on it, because sometimes people are sneaky and they'll hit accept right away without reading the quote. So be sure to double check that. So all in all, add to event, pretty easy to use. Careful on your spend on credits. Like Don't pitch every single event just because you can. Definitely be a bit picky and choosy at first especially because you have to pay to play. But take care of your reputation, reply to reviews, and be kind and courteous on the platform to people because you never know what can turn into a reoccurring event, reoccurring client. And, you know, all in all, you want to be the person to book through on the platform. And the better you do within the services booked, you can rank on their own published like top 10 lists and that is where you want to be. So the more care you put into this platform, the better off you 
are going to be.